Hey everybody, this is JJ. And right now what I wanted to do is talk to you about these really cheap pocket saws. I see a lot of people put these in their survival kits. And personally, I think they suck. I don't think they're very good at all. Um, but if you know how to use them, they, they can work, they can be effective. And you have to, to build kind of a bow to use it. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Um, even on the package, <laughs> on the package they show just wrapping it around a tree, you know, and then and then just sawing it back and forth like that. It's gonna last about a minute before it breaks. I've broken probably 10 of them. Um, you, you just cannot use them that way, okay? I mean, maybe on some really, really small branches, but you can just break those off anyway, so it's kind of stupid. If you wanna cut anything that's you know, a couple inches in diameter or whatever, you're gonna have to put it on a bow and you're gonna have to go really, really slow, okay? Because friction and heat are this thing's worst enemy. It's just so thin that it is really, really susceptible and vulnerable to heat. So let me go ahead and pull this out of the package and I'll show you what I got going here for, for a bow. Now all I've done is just taken my knife and I've cut a branch that's, I don't know, three and a half feet long or something like that. It's a green, it's a green branch, so it's got some springiness to it and it also is about an inch in diameter, so it's got a little bit of strength and a little bit of sturdiness there. All right, it's funny, they proudly, they proudly stamp on here that it's made in the USA. <laughs> it's honestly one of the crappiest little saws that's out there. It, it, they're just really not that good. I won't be surprised if they don't break when I'm trying to do this here. But anyway, um, what you're gonna do is kinda stick this down over one end. If it's large enough, then you're good to go. And and you'll take the other end. <laughs> this may not even be, this may not work here. It's probably not gonna work. I'm gonna need to get a smaller branch, it looks like. This is probably gonna break. pretty ridiculous bow <laughs> um, but it's probably gonna work what I'm gonna probably need to do I don't know maybe not we'll see I may need to put a spreader bar in here to kind of hold this uh, part kind of like a buck saw but this may work just like this so let's give it a shot like I said you want to go really slow Kind of hold your hand down on the bottom, keep that ring from sliding up. Cuts on the pull stroke in this orientation. You really can't go much faster than this because it'll break.
Finally. Blade's a little warm, but it stayed mostly cool. You know, because I was going pretty slow. Okay guys, so this has been a quick look at how to make a pocket saw into a bow saw in what is somewhat of a usable, it'll, it'll be more usable than if you just try to use the pocket saw without, you know, creating a bow on there. Um, if, you, if you just try to do it with your hands and you're working it back and forth and all that kind of stuff, it sucks. It's not any fun. It gets caught up in the wood and they tend to get hot because you go faster when you're getting tired and everything and it will break. I've broken a bunch of them and they're just really not a great tool. But if you put them on a bow saw and you take your time, they will last a little bit longer and you can use them a little bit more. The good thing about these little pocket saws is that they're really small and compact and you can put them in, you know, into a kit, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it doesn't take up a lot of room or space or any of that kind of stuff. The bad thing is, is that I think these things present kind of a false sense of security. You know, and if you think that you're going to go cut up a whole bunch of wood to be able to last you through the night with one of these, dude, you're sorely mistaken. It ain't going to happen. Okay, um, so you know their limitations. If you want to carry one in your kit, cool, no big deal. Personally, I don't. I don't think that these things are worth the weight and space that they take up into a kit. Uh, if you're going to get one, one of the um, pocket saw, chainsaw kind of things, looks almost like a chainsaw blade, those are a little bit better. But you still should really put them onto a bow like this. Um, keeping that wire straight. And keeping it cool is going to be one way to make it last a little bit longer and to be a little bit more effective for you. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button. When you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And if you've got any questions um, or if you have any experiences with these pocket saws, you know, let me know in the comments below. I mean, if you like them and you think they're great and you've had good luck with them, then that's cool. I just personally haven't. Like I said, I know I've broke at least eight or ten of them, um, and they just don't seem to last very long. You know, they're cheap. And I've even and I've even had some of the uh, chainsaw type ones, the more heavy duty ones, break as well. Um, so that's just my thoughts, my experiences. Thought I'd pass it along to you guys. Uh, don't forget to live the six P's. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys. Thank <laughs> you.